Hi YouTube and welcome to Maria's Kitchen. For today, I have some fresh guacamole dip that I'm going to show you how to make. But before I do, I want you to check out my fabulous new apron. Let me stand back so I can show you. Here you go. Puerto Rico. Yes, Janice, if you're watching this, I'm gonna give you a quick shout out. Thank you for my apron, you're the view and repeat. Your ingredients are, I'm using two large avocados, and they're pretty ripe. I'm gonna use um, half of lime juice, fresh lime, freshly squeezed. One large tomato, which I'm going to dice, and it's already washed. One medium onion, and this is going to be diced. And I'm also adding some fresh cilantro, which will be chopped and I have washed right here. Okay, I'm going to add salt, some pepper, and I'm also going to be using a squeezer for lemons or limes, but for the lime that I'm using. So, you also need a bowl. So that's the bowl. First thing I'm going to do is half the avocado. Open the avocado. Look how beautiful that bad boy. Do the same thing with the other one. Okay. Okie dokie. Now, take off the seed. I have my trash right here. Okay. And what I like to do is I'm going to cut this like this. Cut them like in slices first. Okay, then I'm going to cut it this way like cubes. See right here? Let me show you better. Did you see that? Yes, you can. You're going to do that with all the avocados. some space okay then you are going to take a spoon and you're going to scoop it right off see it comes out so easy so much easier when you cube it first within its own shell or its own skin okay grab scoop out as much of it as you can and you see you should have it empty and just discard the rest. Do the same thing with the other remaining avocados and then give it. So I got my avocado right here. Now there were some spots that had some stringy. It was too stringy and they looked, they had black spots. It was, it was very little bit. So it wasn't even half of it. Not even a third. It was just little spots. So I threw that out. You don't want that because it's going to give it a bad flavor. Okay, wash your tomato. First thing we'll do is cut in half, cut in half again. Just gonna cut the stem part off, dump that out. Okay, cut this in half again. Same thing with this part. Now, move this off. I just want you to see it. You're going to cut this to make chunks. So I'm going to cut this like this. And I'm going to cut it like this. Okay. You can pick it up. And you're going to put it in your bowl. Okay. Now this tomato is a little soft, but it's fine because you need to juice with the tomato. Okay. 
Okay, so definitely going to use one tomato. I'm not going to use any more because I'm already seeing how it looks. So it's looking pretty full. Okay, let's cut this one. part of the tomato our last piece okay if you could get them that size that would be perfect some of them are a little bit bigger that's fine as well In the same bowl where you have the avocados cut up. Okay, so let me clean this up. And I'll Next is my white onion. So it's a medium size. So you're gonna cut off this end, not the root. Leave the root. Discard that part. Now we're gonna cut this in half again. And we are going to peel the skin back. Pull off the skin or the thin wrapper that it has on it. Now before I cut it, what I like to do is give it a rinse because you see when you put the knife through, because you have to put it through the roots, it just has some stuff. I just feel more comfortable if I rinse it again. So I'm doing right here. Okay. Next step is hopefully you can see this, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to press it down and I'm going to make slices. Lengthwise, see right here. That's what I did. Let's see if I can show you. Okay, so I didn't do it all the way. This is why I said to leave the roots. Now I'm gonna cut it down this way. You're gonna press firmly with your other hand so that it doesn't come off. And you are going to do the same thing with the other one. This makes it easier and faster to chop the onions. And I like to do it like this because uh, I'm a cry baby when it comes to onions. So do it this way, it's faster. Okay, now I'm taking this knife, which is a serrated knife. You're gonna press firmly down, watch your fingers. You're gonna cut it, and when you look at it, look at it. There you go. Onions are diced. Okay. You're not looking for onions that are thick. You're looking for them to be small. And you're going to cut all the way until you made the line. You see, I'm going to stop here because the rest, I didn't cut down there. Okay. If you see some of them look too chunky, well, don't separate as they should. You can just cut it. Okay, do the same thing with the other onion. inside okay I put because it looks like a lot of onions I'm saving this much of the onions okay I'm gonna save it for another recipe so save a quarter of the onions unless you like it with a lot of onions but this is Basically, how much onions mine have, 
And I'm going to leave it like that. Okay, let's put this on the side. Next we need is the cilantro. Now my cilantro is already washed. So we are going to chop this. I'm using a chopping knife. Okay. I just basically ripped. This is like a, a handful. Just grab with my hand. I just ripped it off. Okay, so we're just gonna cut it like this. side okay in the bowl now let me clean this I'll get back okay. to you next I took my lime cut it in half and here is my squeezer I'm going to put it face down like this and squeeze I'm gonna start off with half of the lime Use as much as you can do have to squeeze pretty tight. Okay, there you go. That's what it looks like. That's done. Now, begin the mixing process. The, the, the avocado is very soft so as you mix it it's going to start turning sorry into more like a it's going to come down you'll see it'll be more like a sauce you just have to keep mixing it and it smells good already some people like their avocados very, very creamy. Some people like it really chunky. What you can also do, if you're a person that likes them both, you can take one avocado and like puree it. And then the other avocado, you cut it into chunks like this. And then you add the other things. I'm also doing with the back of my spoon. You see me? Just wash some of it down just to break up some of the avocado. Now, I don't want to break up all of the avocado, I want some of it to be chunky. But see, I don't want it to be too broken down. Okay, so this you just gotta keep mixing until. You get it to where you want it. I guess I have to keep mixing. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to keep mixing so I get it to the where I want it. And then I'll show you before I add the salt and pepper. Okay, so this is how I have my avocado broken down. Not all of it is broken down. But you can see it's, it's a pretty chunky sauce. Okay, I tasted it. And I want to put the other half of the lime. Again, face down. I squeeze. We're going to squeeze the whole half of this line. Okay, now we're going to put pepper. And we're going to put sauce. And not sauce, but salt. And we're going to mix some more. Okay, so 
I put a little more salt and a little more pepper and look how beautiful this looks. This cilantro just gives it a beautiful, beautiful flavor. Okay, now for the ultimate taste test. We're using a tortilla chip and look to taste it and let's taste it. And it has passed the inspection. Now, what can you use avocado um, guacamole on? You could use it for tacos. Who doesn't love tacos? I love tacos. You can use it on burritos. You can use it as a dip with tortilla. You can use it here. You could just use it on the side. Top it on anything that you really like for those that really, really love guacamole. And um, what else? You can, for a healthy alternative, you can put it in the sandwiches instead of using mayo as a spread. You can even put it on, if you haven't tried it, before you dismiss what I'm going to say, try it first. Rice cake. Grab a rice cake, spread some of this on top, and just eat it like that, and it is delicious. Okay, guys, so thank you for watching my video. If you enjoyed watching this video, you can support me by giving me a thumbs up and subscribing. Stay tuned for more videos.